Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the start of another reading vlog. I wanted to intro this video because the idea for it has kind of evolved a few times. At first it was gonna be a 24 hour readathon, then it was just gonna be a casual week in my life mood reading kind of vlog. But then I felt like these two books in particular deserved their own video. I wanted to dedicate a whole reading vlog just to these two books and give you guys all my thoughts along the way. I feel like it needs no introduction, but for this video I will be reading Fourth Wing and Iron Flame by Rebecca Yarrow. Fourth Wing, I would say, is the most talked about, the most hyped up book of 2023. It is the book of this year. I know I'm so late to the game. I know I'm the last person on earth to finally read this, but in a way, I'm kind of glad I waited because Iron Flame just came out this week, and I've heard so many people say that Fourth Wing ends off on a cliffhanger and they wish they had book two immediately. So that kind of solves that problem, and now I'm going to be able to jump right into Iron Flame as soon as I finish with Fourth Wing. So I'm going to be reading both of these books, giving you guys all my thoughts all the tea along the way. I'm the kind of person who is just naturally curious and as someone who makes book content, I just have to be in on a book when everyone's talking about it. Like even if I end up not liking it, I just need to know one way or the other what I think of it and have my own thoughts to be able to share with you guys because I really haven't heard any negative opinions on this book at all. I feel like I'm gonna love it and I just can't wait to get into it and let you guys know how I feel, let you guys know how I feel about Iron Flame. So far I have heard a few mixed things on Iron Flame so it'll be interesting to kind of be reading it at the same time that everyone else is as well So with all that being said, I'm about to dive into fourth wing right now And I will let you guys know all of my thoughts on these books along the way Hi guys, I've made it to chapter 10. I'm on page 115. I kind of wanted to get to double digit chapters before sharing my thoughts. As far as the synopsis goes, I'm not going to go too in depth because I feel like most people watching are familiar with what Fourth Wing is about, but just to give you the gist, we're following our main character, Violet. She is attending this war college and basically at the war college, you can kind of study different things. There's different quadrants. So there's like the healer quadrant, which is kind of like doctors and medicine. There's the scribe quadrant quadrant which they kind of write everything down, document everything to keep like archives and records of all the history. That is what Violet has always wanted to be. She's always dreamed of being a scribe, but she is kind of destined to be a writer. Most of her family members are writers and her mom has kind of forced her into becoming a writer. So that's where Violet has ended up. But the writer's quadrant is the most dangerous and deadliest of the quadrants because you're training to ride dragons. So it's just very intense. We're following Violet along her trials and tribulations as she's learning to become a dragon rider. And don't hate me guys, but I'm gonna be so honest. I don't think I'm really clicking with the writing style. The first thing I'm struggling with is just being able to picture things, whether it be a scene in here or a person or a place, I just cannot picture anything the way it's described in here. And I've had to go back and reread scenes multiple times. And I'm like, maybe it's just me because I don't read a lot of fantasy. I'm having to like rewire my brain to think that way. But I feel like everyone kind of markets this book as a beginner fantasy book or a book that's easy to get into if you're not a fantasy reader. And I'm kind of struggling. So maybe it's just a me thing, but maybe it is just, I feel like the writing is not descriptive enough. Also, I feel like it generally is just very corny. And to me, the dialogue reads very YA, but this is not a YA book because there'll be like profanity and sex in here. And when those things are mentioned, it kind of throws me off and feels out of place because it doesn't fit in with how I think the dialogue sounds. I don't know, that's kind of taken me out of it a little bit. To give you guys an example of something in here that was just so corny and has happened multiple times, when Violet will be like trying to recall someone's name, she's like, hmm, I can't remember this guy's name, but I think it starts with a B. Is it Braxton? Is it Bradley? Is it Brent? And she'll go through like 25 B names. And I'm like, okay. And then it happened a second time. She was like, there's a guy in line. I'm pretty sure his name starts with a T. Is it Theo? Is it Thomas? Is it Tristan? And I'm like, girl, this has been played out. It just, it comes off as very, very corny. And I'm like, why is this kind of thing in here multiple times? I feel like 
that joke isn't funny anymore. But I don't know, I'm kind of checking it out, waiting for the dragons to be introduced because everyone says that that is their favorite part of the book. And I'm honestly kind of surprised that at like 115 pages in, they haven't been in the story yet. They've definitely been mentioned and we're learning about them, but we haven't actually seen them on page. So I'm hoping once that happens, that will make the story better for me, but I don't know. Right now I'm like, I don't really get the hype. So I don't know, I hate that. I really hate to have an unpopular opinion because I am such a fangirl and I always wanna be a part of the fandom and get swept up in it. And I'm gonna keep reading. I'll try to update you guys when the dragons come in and see if that's changed anything for me. Hopefully next time I talk to you guys, I'll have a bit of a better update. made it to the halfway point in fourth wing and you guys I am so happy to report that I am loving this now as soon as the dragons came in it added a little complication to the story and now I feel like the plot just has so much more depth and I feel way more invested in our main character Violet and what's gonna happen with her and I was like okay now I get the hype now I'm loving it I just can't wait to see how the story is gonna go I feel so attached and connected to all the characters now especially the core friend group I love them even our less likable characters I still find them so interesting and I want to know what's gonna happen with them if anyone's gonna betray anyone one. I feel like there's been kind of hints of that happening. There's some like addictive element in this book that whenever I put it down, I'm like, I can't wait till the next time that I can pick up this book and read more and see what's going to happen. I don't know if I'm quite at that five star level yet. I'm not getting that feeling almost, but not quite, but we still have halfway to go in this book. So I feel like that could definitely change, but I'm so happy that I'm loving it now and I can't wait to keep reading see how everything's gonna play out and report back on how I'm liking it. Hi guys, I've made some good progress in fourth wing. I'm on page 354, so I have like 150 pages left. I felt like that was a good time to do an update because I do have some more thoughts on the book. The first being about the romance. Going into this, I knew there was romance in here, but I just didn't know what to expect at all as someone who is a heavy romance reader. I've never read a fantasy with romance in it, so I just didn't know what the dynamic would be like, what the pacing would be like, if there was going to be spice or not. I didn't even know who the love interest was, so I just really went in with no expectations as far as the romance goes, but I feel like if this book didn't even have romance in it, I would still be thoroughly enjoying it. But the romance just kind of takes it to the next level and makes me enjoy the book even more. I feel like the romance has been done so well. We've been getting little crumbs up until now and now I feel like it's really starting to build and I'm really really enjoying it. I feel like it's been done so well. It's been so well paced. I feel like this book in general, not just the romance, is just so well paced. I've never been bored. It's been very eventful. I feel like something significant has happened every single chapter but I will say I know in my last update, I was like, oh, I'm so getting the hype now. And for the point that I was at when I filmed that update, I definitely was. But now I'm kind of at a point where I have sort of mixed feelings about the hype and my feelings on it. I'm still not getting that five star feeling yet. And I know I have 150 pages. So I'm just like, I don't know where this book is going. I don't know how it's going to end. I have no idea what to expect. But I was going on my Goodreads and going back and looking at all my friends and people I follow and what they have rated this book. And I think it was like 40 something people I'm friends with on Goodreads have read and reviewed this book. And all of them but one person gave this book five stars and the one person that didn't gave it four stars so i'm like what is in this book that's like making people love it so much is it something that's going to happen in the last 150 pages i just don't know i don't know what to expect but i'm just kind of curious like where people started feeling like it was a five star book for them because right now i'm like thoroughly enjoying it and it definitely feels like a solid like four maybe even four and a half star book but it doesn't feel like the kind of book that i would be like oh everyone would give this book five stars you know not to say it's not great but if everyone was giving this book four stars, I would be like, oh yeah, I totally get it. For so many people to give this book five stars and talk about it so much, I'm just like, what? what's going to happen? I just have no idea what to expect, but it's making me even more motivated to keep reading and finish the book.
guys i finished fourth wing let's talk all about it okay so last update i gave you guys i think i had like 75 to 100 pages left in here and as someone who's not a fantasy reader like i keep saying i felt like i didn't really have the critical thinking skills to make predictions on where this book was going to go i really had no idea what direction it was going to take i don't know like typical fantasy tropes or anything like that. So I just had no clue where this book was going. I remember saying too that I wasn't quite getting the five star feeling, but I felt like something in the ending might change that and bump up my rating a little bit. And those last 75 pages, we learned so much. They were very action packed, which I'm not the biggest like action scene fan, whether it be in a book or like in a show or movie. Action doesn't do anything for me. So some of that I was kind of like skimming honestly. And I was like, okay, like I'm kind of over this. But the cliffhanger, that this book ended off on I was not expecting that at all I kind of had like a few guesses at what might happen and it was not that and after finishing this book it made me kind of look back and just reflect on everything that happened in here and thinking back to Violet at the beginning of the book until now where she is her character development is so incredible and just every little thing in this book that happened the way it was paced the way we got information everything all the characters had to go through i just became like so invested so attached little by little i felt like it was just such a good story the way it was pieced together i feel like it just perfectly paved the way for the ending in here also the romance in here i know in my last update it was starting to pick up as soon as I filmed that update and started back with this book, it definitely picked up more. We got some spicy scenes, which I wasn't sure if there was going to be spice in here or not. And the spice in here, some of the best I've ever read. Like Zayden, my man Zayden, one of the best book boyfriends I've ever read about. I am just obsessed with him. The thing about the romance in here is I definitely think it makes me like the book a little bit more because it adds another layer to the story and gives me like another thing to root for in here. And it makes me just a little bit more invested and connected to the characters. But I do think if the romance was taken out of this book, I would still like it just as much because it has a really strong storyline. I still really like the characters individually. I think even if they weren't romantic, romantically involved I would still really really like them but I'm glad there is romance in here because I do feel like it just is a little something extra that makes the story that much better so yeah all that to say five stars I'm giving fourth wing five stars I wasn't sure I know I was critical at times I felt like it was a little bit cringy at the beginning but I loved it I thought it was really really well done oh one other thing i wanted to talk about is it does kind of surprise me that this book is so hyped up because while i loved it and it was five stars for me i don't know if i would recommend this to everyone it kind of surprises me the mass appeal this book has because i know it's recommended a lot as like a beginner fantasy book but as a beginner fantasy reader i did struggle at times with learning some of the things in here there's some like terms in here that i had to look up and found out that they're just kind of like common knowledge if you're a fantasy reader but i had no clue what they meant so i don't know the hype does surprise me a little bit but i'm glad it worked for me i loved it so much hi guys let's talk about iron flame i have started this book and going into it i was really nervous because i feel like i'm caught up with everyone else now i'm reading this book about the same time that everyone else is which i love i love feeling like i'm in the loop i love being a part of the fandom it just makes me feel more connected to the book community i feel like a lot of people have said that it's taking them a while to get through this book because it is a bit longer than fourth wing i keep seeing tiktoks about how like the word count or something of this book is long too so i haven't seen too too many people finish and review this book yet but the reviews that i have seen have been very very mid like i haven't seen any five star reviews for this book at all yet i've seen a few four stars but mostly just mid reviews and when you think about the people reviewing this book and reading it right now it's not people going into it like looking to nitpick looking to be critical it's people who were fans of fourth wing and loved it and were so excited for this book so that really scared me i just didn't know what to expect i was nervous that i was not gonna like this at all because i loved fourth wing and gave it five stars but it's not like a six star read for me i don't think i'm quite as obsessed with that book as everyone else is so i don't know i kind of was skeptical going into this one wasn't sure i was gonna like it too much but going Going into this it did make me glad that i waited to read fourth wing because it picks up right where 
covered fourth wing left off the questions i had immediately got answered and i feel like i now know the direction this book is going whereas with fourth wing i just had no idea what to expect this book i feel like it's more black and white on the things that i do and don't know whereas in fourth wing i just had like no clue there was so much gray area i feel like i have a better grasp of the story in this book i was a little worried though just coming off of reading fourth wing because i didn't want to get slumped out especially if i ended up not liking this i was like what if i just slog through it i might need to take a break and read a fluffy little romance in between because two thick fantasies back to back especially as someone new to fantasy is a lot so i had reasons to be skeptical going into this but i was trying to keep an open mind trying to be positive you guys i'm on page 109 i haven't been able to put this book down i haven't wanted to stop to film an update and tell you guys about this book because it is so addictive like 80 pages in i think i was like what the heck this book is like already a billion times better than fourth wing i'm so invested i'm obsessed like if this book was to end right now I'm not even kidding you guys. I would be like six star read, best book I've read this year. I'm loving it that much already. So we still have a ways to go, but I'm I'm obsessed. Like I'm confused on the mid reviews because I'm like, well, is this book just gonna get worse from here? I feel like it's just getting better and better. And I know one critique people have of this is that we don't get a lot of Daddy Zayden. But to me, his absence in this book kind of makes the romance more interesting because if Violet and Zayden's dynamic was different than how it is going into this book, I feel like that would make the romance so boring and it would make there be no tension. I feel like him only being in this book a little bit makes it better when he's in it because it's like little crumbs so you just savor those moments that much more i made it to part two in iron flame which i think this book is just broken up into two parts which is different from fourth wing which didn't have any breaks it was just continuous all the way through aside from the chapters obviously but I'm still loving this so much. I feel bad because now I'm at like the 330-ish page mark and I haven't really been updating you guys along the way, but I also don't feel bad just because I'm loving it so much that I haven't wanted to put it down and update you guys. And I'm really surprised at how many critiques I've been seeing of this book and I still haven't seen any five stars for it. And I think this is so much better than Fourth Wing and the critiques people have of it. I'm just like, are we reading the same book? Because people are saying that this is like boring, dragging, kind of info dumpy. And to me, this feels so fast paced, so action packed. Every single chapter ends off on a cliffhanger. So that's another reason I like haven't wanted to put it down because I'm like, okay, just one more chapter. I need to know what's gonna happen. I need to make sure everything's good here and I'm loving it. I'm not, I'm not even getting the five star feeling. I'm getting the six star feeling. This is feeling like the best book I've read this year. I'm not even kidding. That is how much I am enjoying it. And I did not expect that because I loved Fourth Wing, but like I said, I'm not as obsessed with it as everyone else is. This book, I feel like I'm the only one super obsessed i've also heard the critique of people saying that they feel like this book came out too fast which was a concern of mine too but so far i feel like everything is really well developed really well explained it's just it's so good to me when i'm reading it i don't even feel like i'm reading a book which is the best feeling and one of the ways i know i'm going to give a book five stars it feels like i'm watching everything play out like a movie which reminds me i heard this book is getting adapted into a tv series I feel like they should make these into movies and do it like Harry Potter, make a movie for every book. To me, this just gives off like epic movie vibes. It feels very like cinematic to me, if that makes sense. It feels too big of a story to be like a TV show. I'm just excited to see this adapted either way because reading it feels very much like watching a movie. I can picture everything so perfectly. I am really interested to see where part two is gonna go. I do feel like the story is gonna take a bit of a shift. So I'm hoping I still love it as much for the remainder of the book, but I will update you guys if anything changes. I know I also haven't really explained what this book is about, but I'm trying to make this vlog spoiler free, both for people that have read Fourth Wing but not Iron Flame, and for people that have read neither. But to give you a vague synopsis, we're following the aftermath of what happened at the end of Fourth Wing and kind of how that affects Violet and her relationships with other people and her life at college. Guys, I don't wanna give any spoilers, but guess what's back? Page 216. I nod at one of our first years. Channing? Chapman? Charon? Why is this her thing? Hi guys, I've made a dent in part two. 
and I wanted to update you guys because I do have some thoughts on part two. Unfortunately, I'm not loving it as much as I loved part one. I just don't love the direction the story has gone in, which I know it's necessary that the plot had to go this way, but it's just not the most enjoyable thing to read about. I also can kind of see now why people have the criticisms that they do because part two is very heavy on the info dumping. Again, I understand why it's necessary to building the story, but it's just not the most fun time I also kind of get now why people say that this book is rushed because there's certain things that are being introduced to the magic system that I'm like Okay, this feels like it's kind of random and just being like made up as we go along And there's some stuff that I just really don't fully understand And again, I'm like, do I not understand this because it wasn't well explained? Or do I just not read enough fantasy? And if I did, I would have a better grasp of it But there's things I have questions on, things that feel a little random I'm hoping that it gets better explained down the road And it'll just kind of all make sense and tie together But overall, I still really am liking the book It's nothing that's making me feel like this book isn't a five star anymore it's just not as enjoyable as part one was but if this book is anything like fourth wing i feel like the ending is just going to be a wild ride and i'm so ready to get to the end and see how everything's going to play out guys i just read the throne chapter screaming crying throwing up we love shadow daddy zayden guys last night i finished iron flame and that ending I just need a time to collect my thoughts, stare into the abyss for a little bit. I need book three, like right now, but I don't want Rebecca to rush. I want her to take her time, make it perfect. I can wait for it, but like, I need it. Wow, this book. Part one was definitely my favorite. I just thought it was so immersive. I felt so sucked into the story that I didn't feel like I was reading at all. And that is just the best feeling. Like that is the feeling I wanna get every time I open a book. Every chapter pretty much ended on a cliffhanger. It was so fast paced. I loved all the character development. I just thought part one was so fun and so good. Part two, definitely not as enjoyable to me. Like I understood why the story had to go in this direction. It was necessary, but just not as fun of a time to read about a lot of political intrigue a lot of info dumping but again it was necessary i get why that had to be in there my favorite part throughout the whole book was definitely the romance i feel like the romance really shined in this book zayden and violet i think are some of my favorite characters that i have ever read about and i just cannot stop thinking about them i'm obsessed i can't stop looking up theories online this is one of the best books i've read this year like seriously obsessed with this book totally get the hype now i do think i liked iron flame a bit more than fourth wing i think most people did prefer fourth wing over iron flame but I just love this book so much. My only critique with this book is I do feel like the magic system could have been explained in more depth a little bit, but I also feel like I'm not a big fantasy reader, so that played into it. I just didn't fully understand things, but I do feel like I kind of sped through reading this book, both for like the purpose of being able to film this vlog and put it up quickly for you guys and get it read before my November wrap up, and also to avoid any spoilers and be able to like get ahead of what I'm seeing all over TikTok, but I actually have convinced my husband to read these books with me so i think we're gonna read them together out loud and i think it'll help me understand everything more he's a big fantasy person so i feel like what i don't understand he can kind of help me comprehend some of the magic system and like world building that me as like a romance thriller girly didn't fully understand in this fantasy and i feel like it'll help me to pick up on like easter eggs and stuff and i just need another person in my life to have read these books so that we can talk about it together because it's all i can think about now i am just obsessed we're obsessed army boba boba's my little dragon so i think i'm gonna close out the vlog here thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and don't forget to hit the red subscribe button down below to stick around to my channel so you don't miss out on any future book videos from me and i will see you guys so soon in my next video bye guys Thank you.